14 days and still no answers for your corner's effort to get a distraught family and you answers has been stonewalled and now ignored by Collier County EMS. Our investigation discovered an ambulance crew waited five to six minutes before even leaving the station after they were dispatched to a 911 emergency back in December. Two weeks ago, the county EMS officials told us they were investigating, but since then they've continued to ignore our calls and stonewall us. So former corner investigator Matt Grant went to county officials looking for answers. Well, Emily Patrick, we are doing all of this on behalf of a distraught Naples family who lost their son back in December and feel they're being pushed aside in their quest to find answers. You're looking at the face of a father in agony. We lost a life here, a human life, you know, and to me at this point, I feel like human life is really not worth much here in Collier County. We met Charles Minard at the Collier County Government Center. Back in December, his son Chaz died after going into cardiac arrest. The family called 911, but a Fox 4 investigation discovered the ambulance waited five to six minutes to leave the station after they were dispatched to the home, which was only three miles away. Changes had to be made. We can't let somebody else die. Last month, EMS Chief Walter Kopka promised us and the family answers. Since then, he's ignored our phone calls, but we were there when he reached out to Minard. What do you have to hide? I mean, what are you hiding from me? Kopka agreeing to meet with the family Monday, but not to go over their investigation into the ambulance delay. It's to tell me how they work and how things happen around there. Minard requested our cameras be there for that meeting, but was told we weren't welcome. I'm begging you, let the media in. Governed by Florida statutes. <laughs> You know what, I'm governed by the love of my son. We wanted to know what the county thinks of EMS's lack of answers so far. Commissioner Tim Nance's office tells us they couldn't comment because county manager Leo Oaks is investigating the situation. So we went to his office to pay him a visit. I was told the county manager was in meeting, so I waited for an hour before asking his secretary to schedule a meeting when he was less busy to help this distraught dad find answers. Yeah, I'm sure everybody would like for me to just go away. But that's not going to happen. And we're not going away either. I also paid a visit to Senate President Pro Tem Garrett Richter's office, along with State Senator Matt Hudson, to see if they would weigh in. Their aides promised me they'll pass on Minard's concerns. Live in the studio, Matt Grant, Fox 4, in your corner.